welcome to my YouTube channel where you're going to learn everything you need to know about a quinceañera and how to plan one. This is video number three on the video series on how to plan your quinceañera. If you haven't watched the first two videos, please go watch them. I'm gonna leave the links up here and you will also find the links down below. If you watch them, then grab a drink, grab your notebook and let's do it. The last video we covered all the vendors that you need to book and everything that you need to do 10 months before your quinceañera. Now we are moving on to the eight to six months before your quinceañera mark. The first thing you will want to do at this point is confirm with your padrinos and especially if you're having padrinos that are kind of like sponsors. At this point you will also want to confirm with your court make sure that your damas, chambelanes, like they can actually really commit to these like rehearsals, dresses, shoes, outfits, like absolutely everything. Once again, it's a really big commitment to be part of a court. So you want to make sure that they will be available, that they can make it, that they're gonna show to rehearsals. Now you ideally already looked for and booked all the vendors that I told you on the 10 to 12 month mark. And now you should have your choreographer booked and your court confirmed so you know exactly who your damas are going to be, who your chambelanas are going to be. So you can start scheduling your dance rehearsals. This doesn't mean that you're going to start rehearsing at this point. This is going to depend a lot on your choreographer. They usually start around four months before the quinceañera. The bigger your court is, the harder it's going to be for you to schedule a set date and time because you need to take into account more and more people. So make sure to check with all your damas, check with all your chambelanes, check with your choreographer, find a couple of days, times that work for everyone. And once again, make sure your court can commit to those times. So at this point, you just wanna get on your choreographer's calendar, make sure that he can reserve this time for you. Let your court know, let your damas and chambelanes know that they have to be present at, I don't know, Mondays and Wednesdays from five to six. Just an example, want them to get those rehearsals scheduled as soon as possible. Now, once again, you already know if you're gonna have damas only, if you're gonna have chambelanes only, how many you're gonna have, like you know exactly who your court is going to be. So now you can start thinking about what they're going to wear. And once again, Pinterest, perfect place to look for different options, different dresses, different outfits. So refer back to your Pinterest board. Your kids in your address on one of those stores where you can also get like the outfits for the chambelanes and the dresses for the damas, like good for you, you got everything in one place. But if not, for them online at store, you can even go to a bridal dress shop and look through the bridesma bridesmaids uh, dresses and especially the short ones if you're having your quinceañera during summer i think all those dresses look really really cute on the damas for the chambelanes too you can look for a tuxedo rental place where you can get the if you want them to throw to wear like a tuxedo or a suit or whatever it is it's also going to um help you decide what your court is going to wear once again if you don't have a theme just choose similar colors. At this point, you also want to start thinking about transportation for the day of the quinceañera. Means how are you going to get from like your house to the church, from the church to the photo shoot location, and how are you going to go from place to place the day of the quinceañera? What you want, you can do like different combinations. You can do like a party bus, a limo, you can do classic cars. Look for vendors and start booking those vendors too. Another thing to look into at this, at the eight to six month mark, it's invitations and save the dates. If you haven't done it yet, you haven't hired someone to do your invitations and your save the dates, do it now. Write this down. The ideal time to send your save the dates is at least eight months before your quinceañera. Send them 10 months before the quinceañera, a year before the quinceañera, God, that's even better. For people who need to travel internationally to make it to your quinceañera, send those no later than eight months before the quinceañera. Invitations don't wait any longer than six months. To be ready sooner, just send them any longer than those recommended times. We're moving on to six to four months before your quinceañera, and this is what you're gonna need to do. 
what your court is going to wear and what you are going to wear for the surprise dance, this is the time to do it. If you want to wear a dress that it's like a shorter version of your quinceañera dress or like very similar, you can actually purchase those with your quinceañera dress. So if you are doing that, then you have that already taken care of because ideally you already have your quinceañera dress, right? But um, if you haven't, this is the time to decide what you want to wear. And like, do you want to wear dresses? Do you want to wear something that goes with your theme and also for your court? Do you guys want to wear like white pants or black shorts? And then you can also do like personalized shirts and all those things take time. So it's better if you start planning and preparing for all of this at this point. I'm going to cover all the things in your outfit that aren't necessarily your quinceañera dress, so all the other tiny things that you also need to take into account for the surprise dance outfit or for the quinceañera dress. Time to think about what kind of shoes you want to wear for your quinceañera. And there is no rule here saying what kind of shoes you need to wear. You can wear like sneakers, ballerina flats, high heels, it's really up to you. I highly recommend that at least for the first part of your quinceañera day, you wear super comfortable shoes, at least for the photo shoot. For a photo shoot, you're usually walking around a lot and you're moving around, so it's easier and you, you'll be more comfortable in your wear if you're wearing like super comfortable shoes. You can wear like flats or sneakers and then for the reception, for the change of shoes part, you can change into the high heels so you don't have to wear them the whole day. Or if you want to wear high heels the whole day and that's your thing, then go for it. What do you feel more comfortable on? And, and you will hear me saying this a lot. It's really about choosing what you like and something that you feel comfortable with. Now, onto those tiny things and parts of your outfit, what kind of socks you're gonna wear, <laughs> what kind of underwear you're gonna be wearing that day, whatever works for your kids dress for the surprise dance outfit something. and make a list of all those small things that nobody sees but that you need to keep in mind and jewelry what are you gonna want to wear for that day clothes like earrings your necklace bracelets like whatever it is that you want to wear and start thinking about like uh, what goes better with your colors with your dress with the outfit that you're gonna wear for the surprise dance, like does gold goes better with your dress or maybe silver or really when a family member wants you to wear something for your quinceañera day, they will let you know in advance so you can take that into account. Because of course you will receive like jewelry as a gift, but you don't necessarily have to wear it that day, right? It's just like a gift. But sometimes people will get you something special for you to wear that day and you can take that into account too when you're choosing your jewelry for the day of your quinceañera. It's a time to start thinking about and buying all the things that you're gonna need for the ceremony and for your traditions. Now this is going to vary depending on the kind of ceremony you're going to have and the kind of traditions you will want to do for your quinceañera. So for your ceremony you might need like a candle, a rosary, a bible, once again, it depends on the kind of ceremony you're having, so talk to your pastor, talk to the priest, or talk to someone at the church who can guide you on this. And who another part where if you want something very specific, you can order all of this from Mexico, and this takes time, so make sure to order it now. Or maybe if you have like your abuelita or your primo that it's coming from Mexico and they can bring all those things for you, now is it's time to start planning on it. Now for the traditions that you're gonna need for the reception. You need the crown, the doll or the last toy, and the shoes and also think on how you're going to present those. So you can get like a pillow, sometimes they come with a cute box. For the last toy, especially if you choose like a plush teddy bear or something like that, I think it looks super cute if you just bring it like that. But for the other things, just think like how you're going to present like the shoes or the crown. Also, some quinceañeras do the crowning at church. So we'll check with your church like what things you're doing at the ceremony and what things you're doing at the reception. It's a time to start looking 
you for all of that and start buying all of that. So add that to your checklist. It's time to think about if you want to do or if you're doing a pre quinceañera photo shoot and if you're doing like a guest book, the picture for the entrance. It doesn't mean that you need to do it like right now. It's time to start scheduling this time with your photographer and once again deciding on the outfit if you want to wait until you have your quinceañera dress and take your pre quinceañera photo shoots wearing your dress or if you want to wear a different outfit. Now if you're not sure what a pre quinceañera photo shoot is, if you don't know if you want to have one or not, another video where I explain to you everything about a pre quinceañera photo shoot, it's up here. I'm also going to leave the link down below when you will want to start scheduling the time with your photographer for your pre quinceañera photo shoot. At this point you're gonna be contacted by the hall or like your catering company and you're gonna start doing your tastings and selecting the menu. Party favors. This is the perfect time to start thinking about what kind of party favors you want to give, especially if you want to have personalized party favors. There are so many ideas. Once again, you can check on Pinterest. So add that to your to-do list. You will also want to start thinking about your baby picture slideshow. Like, do you want to have one or not at all? These years want to have it, so it's really up to you. But if you want to do it, now it's the time to start looking for all those super cute pictures. That's it for this video on the series on how to plan your quinceañera. The next video is gonna go live next Saturday, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this content, please like the video, share this video with anyone else who is planning a quinceañera. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great quinceañera. Bye!